Shalom, I take of all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the double honesty apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that taught us this word. Uh, I just want to you know, talk about the kingdom and you know how how beautiful it's going to be and how great it's going to be. You know, and let's see how you should always, you know, have the helmet of salvation. You should always wear that helmet of salvation and always have that the kingdom on your mind and being delivered. So that you can take part or, you know, be the first fruits you know, of the kingdom. Uh, but the first scripture I want to get is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 50. It's uh, for many great miseries shall be done to them that are, that in the latter time shall dwell in the, dwell in the world. Because they have great, walked in great pride. Yeah, because, you know, we're coming to that time with many great miseries, you know. And only uh, the select few are going to be delivered from that. You know, all the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, ultimately World War Three. But yeah, it says, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they walked in great pride. So everybody's going gonna, gonna to feel this thing then. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time has come. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. The city is builded. And rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. So we're looking for that, you know, that, that, that deliverance, that rest, you know. You know, right now the city is being, being built, you know, without observation. But eventually, you know, the kingdom will be built you know, physically, man. But first, you know, if you want to read about the riches that Israel had, mainly King David or King uh, Solomon, you know, read about it in First Kings ten and one because he was known for great riches. You know, and that's just, just our spirit. You know, to have like the gold, gold chains, and all that the goodly apparel. Jake likes to dress well, likes to wear jewelry. You know, but it's First Kings. 10 and 1. And when the Queen of Sheba had heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a, a very great train of camels, fair spices, and very much gold and precious stone. And when, she, and when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her, all her questions and was not anything hid from the king which he told her not and when the queen of Sheba had seen all of Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sittings of his servants and the attendants of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his ascent of which he went up unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. Yeah, she was just blown away, man, by all his his, his riches and, and his abundance. She said to the king, "It was a true report that I heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom." So yeah, she was blown away by the, by the riches, you know, and how he was living. And we're going to go back to that, you know. So he got those riches by, you know, his navy. I just skipped down to verse 21. And all King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had a sea, a navy, had a king. For the king had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Haram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish bringing gold and silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks. So 
King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. He yeah, asked so King Solomon was a very wealthy man, you know. In the kingdom of heaven, you know, all Jacob's going to be living like that, you know. But it's just a quick little excerpt from uh, todayintheword.org, you know, daily devotional, uh, Queen of Sheba, Balanced Riches. Uh, it says, uh, it's impossible to know what King Solomon would be worth by current standards. Some estimate his wealth as equivalent to 100 billion to 2 trillion in today's economy. Solomon was famous not just for his riches, but more importantly his wisdom. So they estimated his worth to be 100 billion to 2 trillion to today's market. So that's why it says, you know, so King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth. For riches and for wisdom, man. But you know, when we build up our kingdom, you know, or Yahweh Shai's kingdom, Lord will, we'll, we'll join heirs in that kingdom, you know. It's gonna be just as, it's gonna surpass that, you know. But if you read out Revelation 21, going into Revelation 21 and 18, it talks about it. It says, uh, and the building of the wall of it was jasper and the city was pure gold like on the clear glass foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones now the first foundation was jasper the second sapphire the third chalcedony and fourth an emerald so just the multi foundations of the wall are just going to be different stones and that's just the wall you know they said the the building of the wall of it was jasper, and the city pure gold, the streets of pure gold. Yeah, if you read down to uh, verse 21, in the twelfth gate were twelve pearls. Yet every several gate was of one pearl, and the city of the in the street of the city was pure gold. As if it were transparent glass. So yeah, the streets are paved with gold, man. That's what they say America is. Streets paved with gold, metaphorically. But, you know, physically, Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to have streets paved with gold. But yeah, if you look up these stones, they're very beautiful stones, man. Uh, I just looked up one, a sapphire. It's a beautiful bluish color right here. You know, sapphire. I guess there's different types. You got pink sapphires, party sapphires, or party colored sapphires, or bi colored sapphires. You know, you pink sapphires, a star sapphire, just like a uh, illusion of a star. Yeah, star sapphire is a type of sapphire that exhibits a star like phenomenon known as asterism. Red stones are known as star rubies. So yeah, you know, there's all types of beautiful stones, man. And the kingdom is so big, you know. But yeah, I also got this, this article uh, from a popular science uh, dot com or pop sci p o p s c i dot com for popular science and it says uh, scientists think they found a super earth exoplanet dripping with sapphires and rubies man. Uh, the right kind of chemistry can lead to some strange sorts of worlds uh, adorn yourself in precious gemstones and you're sure to attract some attention it's true not just for people but for planets as well. In the latest issue of monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical uh, Society, a group of European scientists discussed the discovery of a new exoplanet rich in rubies and sapphires, leading to, leading to some exciting new questions about the kind of chemistry and conditions that give rise to such an exotic class of celestial worlds. Uh, 
We do have an investigation comes out of a larger quest to understand how planets are formed, according to Amy Bonsor, Bonsor, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and a co-author of the new paper. The goal was to study the composition of rocky bodies outside our solar system that have been swallowed by the remnants of stars like our sun called white dwarfs. Uh, that quest led us to the team to HD 219134b, a super Earth located 21 year, light years away in the constellation Cassiopeia, with an orbit around its star that lasts just three days. It's a rocky planet, but that's pretty much where the similarities with our own world end. Uh, it's about 20, 10 to 20 percent less dense than other Earth-like counterparts. And this seems due to enhanced concentration of calcium and aluminum, along other elements, species, important to gemstone creation. The planet possesses the sort of high temperature conditions that would facilitate gemstone formation leading the researchers to believe uh, HDB is chock full of rubies and sapphires. So yeah, man, these scientists believe that their planet's full of different different types of gemstones, man, and whatnot. And we all know, you know, the Most High has many different mansions. This is uh, John 14.1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. So that, if they're not too crazy, you know, you know, the men of the Lord and the elect are going to go to these planets, you know, and mine them out. You know, bring slaves or whatever. However it's going to be. But, you know, there's many different rubies and gems and diamonds on these other planets out here. And, you know, we can mine these planets and bring them back to Earth to build up an entire kingdom, man. So, yeah, it's something, you know, to look forward to. But, you know, we're not going to do all that work, you know. We are, you know, that curse is going to be off us. You know, we're not going to build, you know, a house not dwelling it, you know, we're not going to plant up a vineyard and not benefit from drinking that wine, you know. We're going to get the best of the best. We're going to be in our rest, you know. It says, uh, rest is allowed, man. We're going to get that rest. But as of now, we're not in our rest. But, you know, in that kingdom, how Shai returns, we're going to get that rest. This is, uh, Isaiah 16 and 9, surely the isles shall wait for me in the ship of Tarshish first to bring my sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord, the power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Yes, we're waiting for that day, man. And these, gen these other nations are going to bring their riches and all their substance unto us, man. All their power, their riches, whatever. All that they have, they're going to bring that to us, man, to the elect, or will, and the hopeful elect, whoever those men are. They'll get delivered, beamed up, and be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. The sons of strangers shall build up that wall, just like we built up the walls here in America. And these other nations are going to build up, you know, the kingdom's walls, man. Yeah, I just wanted to 
expound on it, do a video on the kingdom. Have your time, take a look at all these different gemstones if you're not familiar with them. Very beautiful stones. I'm sure there's some stones out there that we haven't even heard of. You know, stones on different planets, you know, that haven't been discovered yet. You know, with that, no show more.